Presented by Listen Headlines, latest world news from trusted sources. January 28, 540 America New York, COVID unjabbed should pay for treatment, hospitals chief. Fierce debate has been triggered in France after a healthcare boss suggested the unvaccinated could be charged for their treatment. January 28, 539 America New York, Norway King ill after meeting virus positive minister. Norway's 84-year-old King Harald V will take a few days off because of cold symptoms, a day after meeting with Foreign Minister Anakin Hootfeldt who tested positive for COVID-19. January 28, 526 America New York, Minister, Cyprus a reliable, security partner to U.S. Cyprus Foreign Minister says that the East Mediterranean island nation has, all the ingredients, to be a credible and reliable partner, for the U.S. in maintaining stability and security in the region. January 28, 522 America New York, UN. Extreme lack of food, for many in Ethiopia's Tigray. The United Nations World Food Programme says more than a third of the people in Ethiopia's embattled Tigray region, are suffering an extreme lack of food. January 28, 522 America New York, live updates, Russia adds forces to the front, Biden seeks to reassure Ukraine. President Biden told President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine that the U.S. was ready to respond forcefully to any Russian aggression. The Pentagon said Russia continued to deploy forces to the region. Members of the Ukrainian army this month on the front line in Marinka a small city damaged by years of war, in the Donetsk region of Ukraine. January 28, 521 America New York, world surpasses 10 billion COVID vaccine doses administered. Some nations can now envision a near future in which their people coexist with the virus but aren't confined by it. Getting vaccinated against the coronavirus in Brazil this month. January 28, 519 America New York, EU Ombudsman slams executive arm over vaccine communication. The European Union Ombudsman has found that the bloc's executive arm was responsible for maladministration after it failed to provide access to text messages exchanged by its president and the CEO of pharmaceutical company Pfizer relating to coronavirus vaccine purchases. January 28. 509 America New York, what we learned about Pegasus, the smartphone cracker. Israel used the NSO group's cyber weapon as a tool of diplomacy. The FBI tested it for domestic surveillance. Then everything soured. Here are highlights of a New York Times Magazine investigation. The Israeli cyber company NSO group at one of its branches in the Arava Desert in Sapper, Israel. January 28. 501 America New York, Thailand adopts guidelines for declaring COVID-19 endemic. Thai health authorities have approved new guidelines outlining the parameters for declaring the coronavirus pandemic an endemic disease. January 28, 5 o'clock America New York, alarming levels of mercury are found in old-growth Amazon forest. The findings, related to gold mining in Peru, provide new evidence of how people are altering ecosystems in dangerous ways around the world. An improvised dredging system near Puerto Maldonado, in the Madre de Dios region of Peru, extracted gold using mercury. January 28, 5 o'clock America New York, Tonga's proud diaspora confronts daunting challenge of disaster response. Tens of thousands of overseas Tongans, intimately tied to their homeland, are contending with the pandemic, snarled supply chains and limited communications. Ash covered a street in Nukualofa, Tonga's capital, on Jan. January 28, 5 o'clock America New York, the battle for the world's most powerful cyberweapon. A Times investigation reveals how Israel reaped diplomatic gains around the world from NSO's Pegasus spyware a tool America itself purchased but is now trying to ban. January 28, 5 o'clock America New York, after 600 years, Swiss City at last has a woman on night watch. Lausanne has kept a night watch atop its cathedral since 1405, but it never appointed a woman to the role until Cassandra Bordeaux, after a long fight, landed a job that was her childhood dream. Cassandra Bordeaux, 28, is the first woman ever appointed to the role of Nightwatch in Lausanne, Switzerland. January 28, 5 o'clock America New York, in India, where divorce is rare, a debate ignites over marital rape. 
India is among nearly three dozen countries in the world where spouses cannot file a criminal complaint against their partners for non-consensual sex. January 28. 451 America New York, Australia just exported its first batch of fuel that doesn't emit CO2. There's just one catch. When the 380-foot-long Suizo frontier set sail from Australia on Friday, bound for Japan with liquid hydrogen in its insulated hold, it marked the first time that liquefied hydrogen has been transported by sea to an international market, according to project participants. January 28. 446 America New York, Ukraine Crisis, Vladimir Putin's Geopolitical Jigsaw. Invasion or Fear Strategy. The Russian leader keeps everyone guessing on his real plans for Ukraine. January 28. 444 America New York, Met Police Want, Minimal Reference to Probe in Partygate Report. Authorities have said they don't want the Sue Gray Report to compromise the investigation on Friday morning. London's Met Police Force said it had made stipulations on the party gate report being carried out by senior civil servant Sue Gray, requesting minimal reference to events probed in their own investigation. January 28, 439 America New York, Philippines lifts ban on foreign tourists as outbreak eases. The Philippines will lift a ban on the entry of foreign tourists and businesspeople next month after nearly two years. January 28. 428 America New York, North Korea confirms latest launch of cruise missiles. On Thursday morning, the South Korean military reported it had detected rockets flying over the Sea of Japan. January 28. 4 o'clock America New York, Iran is putting down roots in eastern Syria, outcompeting Assad's regime in signing up fighters. Growing Iranian influence in strategic Deir al zor province aims at projecting Tehran's power across the region. January 28, 356 America New York, cases plateauing in parts of India but Omicron still surges. Indian health officials say there are signs of COVID-19 infections plateauing in some parts of the country but caution that cases are still surging in other states, linked to a new, stealthier version of the Omicron variant. January 28, 353 America New York, Marvel star Evangeline Lilly attended anti-vaccine mandate rally in Washington to support bodily autonomy. Lilly explained her attendance at the rally using rhetoric that echoed that of abortion rights activists.